The 2001 to 2005 7th Gen Civic is an amazing car with a lot of potential, but there are some common problems that you might want to look out for with this generation. We're going to be talking about those problems, the most common problems that I know of, so let's begin. This is my 2002 7th gen Honda Civic. It is modded as you can see, and I think it looks great. I have owned two 7th gen Civics, one a 2001 and one 2002. And both were sedans. One was an EX, this is an LX, and they have been great cars, but these cars can have some common problems, most of them being cosmetic. One of the common problems that the 7th gen Civic can have is paint fading. This isn't just an issue with 7th gen Civics or Honda Civics. A lot of cars do have this problem. This usually happens to cars that are left outside a lot where the clear coat basically just starts to break down and fade and you'll see oxidation. If you are looking into buying one of these Civics and you wanna make sure that the paint is in good condition, I would check the roof and the hood. Um, there are other spots that can have this problem, like the back bumper, sometimes the front bumper, the tops of the doors, but most of the times that I have encountered this problem, it was usually on the roof and the hood. It will start as a small spot, so you do want to look out for small spots that are oxidizing because it can spread over time if not corrected. And the next common issue, which I have encountered with a lot of my newer Honda Civics, is the headlights fading. Since Honda switched the Civic's headlights in 1997 to plastic headlights, and if your car sits out in the sun a lot, you probably know what I'm talking about. Your headlights will turn foggy and yellow, and it makes it really hard to see at night because your headlights can't actually go through the headlight lens. I had to fix this on my CRV. What I did basically was sand down the headlight and clear coat it. I made a whole video about it on my channel if you want to go check that out. Another common problem that the 7th Gen Civic can have is the fabric can come off of the doors. It usually will just start in a corner and it will just start falling out if you don't correct it and fix it. And it's very easy to fix, but it can be annoying if it gets bad enough that it will actually start coming off completely or most of the way and it doesn't look very nice. It's not really a big deal, but the chrome can also come off of the door handles. It's probably a really easy fix, but I've had this happen on both of my 7th Gen Civics, and I pretty much overlook it, but I'm sure it would be really easy to fix this, and that's another thing to look out for. The Honda Civic is a very reliable car, but you can run into some problems with certain gens. With this generation, there are some pretty big things that you want to look out for, and we're going to talk about them right now because these are engine issues that you can have, so you definitely want to look out for these if you are planning on purchasing this generation of the Honda Civic. The first thing we're going to talk about is the air filter box on the engine. This is where the air filter is located for the engine. On both my 2001 and 2002 Civics, this air box had stripped screws, so it was letting dirty air get into the engine. This is something that can easily be overlooked, and I fixed this problem by replacing the stock air box with an aftermarket short ram air intake. A lot of higher mileage cars will leak oil, and the Civic is one of them. The gaskets on the oil pan and the valve cover can leak oil, and this is something that can happen with time and age, and it's an easy fix, but it is something to look out for. Another common problem that I've heard a lot about and read a lot about is a blown head gasket. I've owned two 7th gen Honda Civics, and I've never had this problem, so I don't know how common it is, but I've heard a lot about it. Some common symptoms of a blown head gasket are overheating and antifreeze in the engine oil. In the 7th gen Honda Civic, the alternator is grounded by the engine block. So if the alternator ends up getting loose and not having contact with the engine, 
It can basically burn out the ECU, which is the car's computer, and you'll get a check engine light and the car will run in limp mode and it won't run properly. I did experience this in my 2002 Silver Civic. If this does happen, the ECU does have to be replaced. I made a whole video talking about how I changed out my ECU, so you can go check out that video if you want to learn more. And after I replaced the ECU, I did buy a ground cable, and I grounded the alternator to the body to make sure that it is grounded and it wouldn't happen again. These are some of the common problems that I have experienced or heard about with the 7th Gen Civic. They are great cars that get really good fuel mileage, and the good thing about these problems is that a lot of them are avoidable. Comment down below and let me know if you guys know of any common problems that the 7th Gen Civic did have that I didn't cover in this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video if this video helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys later.